All right, you all, we are back in business. I had to charge the battery, so it's like 30 minutes later from when I closed out the last vlog. All right, I'm so happy to be home and have the evening off and tomorrow off. I worked my butt off, so did Steve. And actually, he's delivering his last job here this hour, um, and it's not too far from the house, so that's great. Uh, and then my owie, y'all, my owie's looking a lot better, yeah. Ryan's out in the kitchen. Um, he is going to cook us dinner tonight. So he's going to, I believe, make potato wedges. And then we have steak fillets. And I don't know what else we're gonna have on the side. But I'm gonna try to film his cooking a little bit. We'll just see how it goes. Y'all, it's a nice special treat when Ryan says he's gonna be cooking us dinner. So you think I'm gonna tell him no? Heck no. And guess what? He's a good cook. When he's done, it tastes good. It's like restaurant. All right, first step that Ryan is doing is blanching the potatoes for about 15 minutes. And then he's going to season them and put them in the oven to finish cooking. All right, spraying the pan so the potatoes don't stick. And then Ryan's going to put all of them on here. How long do they have to cook for in the oven? That depends on how fast they ground. Yeah, they're pretty big. Maybe 15 minutes and we'll check on them, or longer? I'm going to say based on this. Size, 20 minutes plus. All right, we got seasonings here. What do we got first? First we got soft seasoning. All right. Mmm. Ryan's a good cook, you all. Is this your own recipe, or did you look it up online? The way to cook them, I look them up online. The seasoning, well, it's up to imagination, essentially. And which one's the seasoning? The Mrs. 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 Ash, just lemon pepper seasoning. Lemon pepper seasoning. All right. Now yeah. we stick them in the oven? Yeah, at 4 to 25 degrees for until they are brown, golden brownish. We have eight fillets here that Ryan seasoned up with some oil as well. Seasonings, he used this McCormick Grill Mate, Monterey Steak Seasoning, lots of that. The pink Himalayan salt and black pepper. So we're just waiting on the potatoes to cook a little bit longer, and then he'll take the steaks here and cook them up on in there. All right. No butter, or you put that in later? Nope, no butter on these ones due to the sheer amount of oil. Okay, just lots of oil this time. Oh, I like the butter. Look at that sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. More seasonings. All right, it's been about two and a half to three minutes on that side, and now Ryan's gonna turn them over. We're gonna finish cooking them up, and they are gonna be delicious. So we do have more steaks to cook up, but we only put a few on the cast iron pan at a time here because of all the smoke. So the fan helps, just three at a time and we have the back door open, and then it seems to work out okay, right? Yeah. So, the first time we did this, we had this whole place of smoking, didn't we? <laughs> it was crazy. It was a nice haze Yeah, in there. there was all up there, man. There was smoke. So we, we got it down now the last couple times, but the first time was a disaster. <laughs> but yeah, you learn as you uh, work in this half kitchen. You didn't get that on footage, did you? What? The uh, old first time. No. Nope. Mm -mm. I don't think I was vlogging then. Oh, <laughs> look at RV. He's like, what are you guys cooking up on in there? I can smell it, Mama. I can smell it. Hey. What? You know those gloves that you gave you? Top shelf. On the left. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, no. What are you doing? Okay. See that naughty dog? Really he paws at everything. Oh, there's Bella. She's a good dog, y'all. Bad dog. <laughs> good dog. Ryan is done cooking dinner. And from the looks of it, I think he did a fantastic job. I have two fillets here. Uh, some interesting sized potato wedges, but I'm sure they're gonna taste just fine. He was just being creative. And some of that rice -roni chicken rice. And yeah, I can't wait to dig in and eat all this up. We don't eat at the dinner table very often, do we, honey? We're usually tray tables watching TV. But it's nice to we're do out, this every now and then. We're outside. Yeah, we're outside on the back patio, you're right. Yep, I had to get the salsa out too. Um, yeah, Steve kind of had a rough day at work. 
Sometimes I have rough days as well. I work through it and yeah. Yeah, I'm not happy with shit right now. No, it was a difficult day. It's been a difficult I'm couple sorry. of days. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it has. Uh, well, hopefully we can get past that and enjoy our evening and a day off tomorrow. Yeah, yeah no shit problems tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, right. So, finish up dinner here. How'd you like everything? Ryan, Ryan cooked everything. Yeah, it was good. Almost nine o'clock. The day goes by too fast. We're getting the kitchen cleaned up. Yay. So, hi Harvey. We got a bottle of wine here. Opened it up. We got the wine aerator. And we pour this and we're just gonna go hang out on the back porch until bedtime and we will see you all in the morning. Good morning. It's our day off. It's eight o'clock. It's time for some coffee. All right, so we woke up. Hey, honey, thanks for taking the recycle out. Good morning. Good morning. We woke up and Ryan ordered in donuts. OMG, look at all of this yumminess. Lots of choices. And then donut holes. And then kolaches. Two with cheese and two without cheese. So we are definitely going to have a feast this morning. What are you doing back there, Bella? Does it feel good over there in the corner? Or are you in a timeout? All right. We're just hanging out. Back patio here in the morning. It's so nice out here. Yeah. Tell everybody what happened at Target yesterday. And then I'll also insert the video that you took. Oh man. So I had a shop at Target and as I'm driving, getting closer to the store, I notice all these people like sitting in the like the grassy areas by the frontage road of the highway. What are they doing? Are they just like having picnics? Because there was a restaurant there. I'm like, well, maybe they're just having a picnic and they want to eat out, but they can't go in because of the COVID-19. Then I get closer and I see more and more people with chairs. Parking lots are full. People everywhere. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Yesterday, the Blue Angels flew, did a flyover in Dallas-Fort Worth. So they're flying different places just to honor first responders, medical providers, um, and just to say thank you. So that's what everybody was out there doing. They were out there waiting for the Blue Angels. I'm like, oh man, I gotta do a shop. There better be places to park at Target. So I pull in, fortunately there were, but there were tons of people everywhere, cars everywhere. You'll see the video. And so then I'm like trying to map out to the address that I have to deliver to. And for some reason, the internet, it won't connect, it won't go, it won't do anything. I got inside the store, I had to connect to Wi-Fi, and it worked fine. And then I was like, oh yeah, well the reason why I can't get any internet is because all these people are here with their freaking cell phones taking all the service. So, it's crazy. So, basically, I, I was checking out after that. All these people were set up. And I don't know if they were expecting the Blue Angels to do like an air show, like 30 minutes. All they did was fly by. That was it. So it took like 10, 15 seconds. <laughs> then it was over. Mm. And they all had to go. And the parking lot was crammed with people trying to leave when I was trying to get out of there. It was very, very, very annoying and frustrating. We have been gone a few hours. We had some errands to do. And then we have some terrible news to tell you all. Um, our One of our last stops was gonna find something for lunch and we decided to go to Jack in the Box and I'm just about done eating my taco and what do I see? A ladybug. My next bite would have been eating a ladybug. I'll pop the picture right here for you. We both immediately lost our appetites. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm like, just take this all in, get a refund. Totally lost my appetite. Thing could have had coronavirus. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, I mean, it it's doesn't just matter. Gross. It's a bug. It's gross. I can't understand. <sighs> yeah, it definitely makes you lose your appetite. Yeah. So Steve went in. Did you show it to them? Yes. Okay. I, showed it I didn't to ask them. you that. I so did. I'm asking you. I did. Um, I you said, had only said that you had told them, and, and he said, "Okay, I'll give you a refund." Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I showed him. Don't you worry. <laughs> Wow. I'll share it with everybody. So we got a refund on our lunch and then <laughs> I'm like, do you want to go anywhere else? And we're like, no. So <laughs> now we're home. We can make something now if I, you want to. I I'm kind of hungry. I might make some soup or something. You make something. I'm not hungry. Mm. I'm on the ladybug diet now. <laughs> the ladybug diet. That's it a works. good one. These items here I got from at home. I got a storage box here to put all the puppy dog toys in. And look at the handles, they're bones. Isn't that cute? And it's got a good pattern. That was $12.99. And then I got these butterflies to put in the planters that I bought out back, which I'll show you after this. These were $2.99 each, pretty blue color. So those will look cute in the planters. And then we found this thermometer and it will go somewhere out back on the house. It says life is better at the lake. We wish it said life is better at the beach, but this will do. Cause we've been looking for one for a while now. So. This will just have to do, but that's what I found at, at home. Hi, Bella. I've got a big bag of potting soil. This is all from Lowe's. Got six plant flowers. Aren't they pretty? I'm gonna put three in each because they are going to grow and get bigger. That way the planters aren't overcrowded. These were $35 each. Aren't they pretty? They're very well made too. Just gotta be careful with them. We kind of ran into a problem. I was like, oh my gosh, these holes are so big. The soil is just going to fall out. So I took the tarp and cut it into two pieces. Look at that. How brilliant, right? So the soil is only gonna come up to about right here after I've put the flowers in there. So yeah little hack idea for you all if you run into this problem this one is done looks so pretty all right you guys i'm finished now i'm gonna get some water i'm sure they are thirsty just a little bit yeah you guys are thirsty it's so pretty let them stay here for a little bit and then I'll put them where they need to be poolside. We got some shipped gear. Steve got himself a nice breathable shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. looks good, hon. Looking forward to it. I like it. I might and then get another one depending on how this one is. Yeah, if you like it, then order another one. Let's yeah. See. I'll let you know. I'll got some you. extra cards for shipping and then I got a lanyard. And I also ordered another one as well. Um, it's coming on Monday. So uh, the other lanyard holds a lot more than just one card. And it's not shipped gear. I just found it on another site per a friend that also ships. So yeah, we'll just see about it. If I don't want this one, I can sell it to somebody. And then I might like this one more than the other. But I think I'm going to like the other one better. But yeah. Hi, Harvey. I decided just to snack on some peanuts for now. Oh, yeah. Made some drinks. Are you happy to be home? Finally yeah, relaxing man. now. Yeah. I'm glad are. we got all our stuff done. Oh, yeah, we got, we got stuff done. <laughs> we spent money. <laughs> yeah. That always happens on the day off. It does. Harvey went to bite. Mm, Bella's right there relaxing. Oh yeah, it's blustery out, you all. We've got storms coming in tonight. 
Uh, feels good out here. It is 80 degrees, y'all. That's where we ended up putting the uh, thermometer. Our outdoor decor here. Do, 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 do. And then we got the horsey over there. Yep. I like our back patio. It's very cozy out here. And these chairs that we bought this year, they're so comfortable. They rock too, show them. They rock. We're yeah, both yeah, rocking. Both rock rocking. Goodbye, baby. Cool. baby. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. Yeah, very comfortable. All right, you all. Here are the flowers and the butterflies. So pretty. Yeah, I kind of like it. The shallow pots really work. This is the first time I ever got the really shallow ones, but butterflies, the flower is so pretty. Tacos tonight. <laughs> Good tacos. We dropped by Rosa's on our way home and we got refried beans and some rice and yeah, I'm just not feeling up to having dinner. Plus my allergies are killing me. Sorry. I'm a mess. I am a freaking mess. Okay. You've been sneezing too. Yeah. I, but you're I, not as bad as me. No. Usually not. <sighs> so, I guess, y'all, we're just going to call it a vlog here. I'm just going to continue suffering the rest of the night because it's windy out here and it's stirring everything up. Do we need to go back inside? Uh, no, I'm going to just tough it out. <laughs> That's how Cheryl is. I'm not going back inside. I want to stay poolside. Inside. She's going to stay out here and suffer. Yeah. Suffering. We'll go in She's when the storms start coming in around 8 or 9 o'clock. Then we'll go in. You know, it'll be all good. But, yeah, I'm not going to vlog anymore. I'm done. All right, you want to close it out, my love? It was a good day off. We got a lot done. And we had some relaxation time. We did. There's more relaxation yeah. after this. Right, because what time is it? I don't know. I'm trying to look at my Fitbit here. It's 6 o'clock. All right, yeah. 6 o'clock. So, thanks for watching the video. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you never know what you're going to miss. It's always an adventure. Ladybugs and all. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.